All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series here on Fandan Extra. Um, this is a game I have had my eye on for a little while. I know it's been out for some time now, but uh, this is Mega Aquarium. And um, basically, you can build your dream aquarium. It's got um, a great sort of like story based mode on it, or you can play sandbox. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to play a custom sandbox mode. I'll get into that in um, a moment. One of the big reasons why um, I've not played this before is kind of on my radar um i kept meaning to buy it didn't buy it i really i've just been reading uh, the last couple of days that um they released a new dlc so there's now fresh water fish on the game as well now so um yeah i downloaded it been playing a bunch of it I've really, really enjoyed it, and I just thought it'd be a great little game uh, to bring to the channel to kind of like break up the Planet Zoo stuff um, that we've got here. Um, on the subject of Planet Zoo, it is going to return this week, ladies and gents. If you didn't see um, the update video that I put out the other day, it's linked above for you right now. Do feel free to go and check that out. Um, it will tell you... Uh, absolutely everything that's going on with the channel but uh let's crack on with today's um video with today's episode um i'm gonna try to sort of make these 30 35 minute videos um this one might be slightly longer because it's the first episode and uh, i'm gonna sort of be explaining what stuff means as we go along so that if anyone is interested in buying the game um they can do so and know a little bit about it so um this is what i was saying about um the campaign mode obviously um you can do the uh salt water sort of campaign or you can do the freshwater one i have to have the dlc obviously you would need to purchase that or you can come down to the bottom and you can play sandbox now we're going to do a custom sandbox mode. Um, we're going to do it on normal difficulty to start. And then if we decide to do another series where this is concerned, I think we'll just kind of like up the difficulty rating. Um, for those that want to play along, this is the seed. Uh, feel free to copy this number down and you can um, type that in when you play the game and it will do all these settings for you and you'll have exactly the same sort of setup that I've got. So what I've decided to do is have our starting rank as, you know, the bare minimum, number one. Uh, we are going to include the fresh water animal availability we're going to do um, standard we're going to have randomized the availability of certain fish certain, and animals that are in the game uh, so basically they won't come in any particular order um, the equipment we're going to have standard we're going to keep stuff locked so we've got to research and we've got to do stuff like that we are going to have side objectives i've turned trades off we're going to leave merchants on these are all sort of like side things that you can do to make yourself money and so on and so on we're turning unlimited money off because we want this to be um, a little bit more of a challenge and basically that is it ladies and gents so let's jump in um, to the game and uh, get this thing started. So when you first start the game, basically this first episode, I'm going to sort of explain the game a little bit um, based on what I've been doing and based on what I've been playing. Um, for the newbies, for people that don't know about it, um, that might be interested in playing it. So when you first start, you are gifted this first little square in the game and from here you have to you know start putting your aquarium together starting cash of 2000 um and yeah it, it is very very sort of like self-explanatory when you're playing it um i think the best thing to do if you do purchase the game is do the very first level in the campaign because it teaches you the basics um but like anything most of us pick this stuff up as we go along um, we've got tanks here we've only got the one basic tank unlocked at the beginning um, you've got the filters your heaters you end up with a lot more stuff on here you unlock things like protein skimmers uh, and so on and so on your fish are here You've got your sort of like decorations for your um, aquariums here. Each fish has its own needs, its wants and needs, uh, where temperature, water quality, um, decorations, and so on and so on. Um, you know, some fish can't go with others, um, and that's kind of like how that works. This is where you find your food and your items for your staff to be able to work. And at the bottom, this does unlock stuff like, um, you know, staff doors and things like that, um, you know, uh, decorations. Uh, themes all that sort of stuff um, so let's get cracking let's um, put uh, the first sort of like tank in place and then we'll move on from there now um, you will find that obviously the guests are going to be able to see your filters and stuff at the beginning um, you will obviously be able to hide them as um, as this goes along um, but for now we are just going to um, put this tank in and we'll cover it up when we unlock the next round and I'll explain how you unlock stuff in a moment so it is a case of click 
and drag and you can drag it you know forward and side um, to get you know whatever size you want I'm just going to drag this one along here because we'll probably end up deleting this tank out and replacing it with a nicer looking tank um, eventually um, up here this is where you can expand your level um, and you have your wall pieces and stuff like that delete move and so on and so on so I am just gonna create a little bit more room in the aquarium because you'll see when we start putting in the um, heaters and the filters and stuff they do take up a fair bit of room and obviously your staff need to be able to get to them to maintain them so tanks in um, next we're gonna put in a basic filter and we're gonna put in a basic heater for this tank now you are going to see num these numbers here it requires you know 12 heat um, these 12 need to be filled um, to be able to heat this tank up obviously this heater um, will give you 18 um, and it would probably I believe require um, it will require 12 for your filter power as well you're getting 16 from this um, but it doesn't really show you as much it will just show up on water quality um, when you are playing through the game the only fish that we've got available is this orchard dotty back so we will purchase these now there's this fish could go in this tank on its own you will see that there are certain fish where it will tell you they need to shoal um, and each one of the fish takes up two spaces in the tank this determines the size of the animal um, and you're gonna see exactly what I mean as we place this down um, these I will explain to you in a moment so this fish as you can see you can get up to 12 spots in this tank first fish would take up two um, so essentially you can get 12 of this species in this one aquarium uh, for now we're just gonna put two because um, you can obviously add more fish to the aquarium and then you can have community tanks or you can have just single species uh, and, and so on and so on. So um, for now, I might just put the two in there. Um, now it's telling, us, it's telling us now that they require the orange pellet. So you come down here, this is where you find the orange pellet and uh, you just uh, stick it in the back basically. Now if you were to put it here, your staff wouldn't be able to access this filter. Um, this is why I open this up, you do need a bit more space, um, but you're going to see as we go along, um, you know, you, you can make your space in. Um, and you can make your back sort of like areas a lot more efficient um, as, as the game goes on and you unlock more stuff. Now, obviously this is a sandbox mode, so we are gonna to attempt to make this aquarium, um, you know, as sort of, I guess, realistic. We're gonna try and make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible as well. So the food is in, your filters are in, you've got your fish in the tank. There's only really one more thing you need before you can open uh, the doors to this aquarium, and that is your staff. Now, when you're looking at your staff it's really important that you find especially early on a staff that can do multiple things now at the moment we don't really need to worry about feeding but the two things we do need to worry about are fixing and and um feeding the animals um so uh, we just need to try and scroll along and see if we can find um, a member of staff that does both now unfortunately they don't so um we are going to have to employ two members of staff which is a little bit of a pain um i think I'm gonna minus two. I'm gonna employ Jacob because he can clean and he can do the feeding. And I think we're gonna employ uh, Veronica because she can do the fixing. Now, one thing I'll say about the staff is as they uh, level up with experience, then you can add stuff so they can learn how to feed, they can learn how to clean. And I think um, if your staff obviously can multitask, it makes the aquarium a lot more efficient. Well, that's what I've found anyway. So this is a little bit overkill having to employ two members of staff at this early stage, but uh, we've kind of been left with no choice. Now, we will click here and the aquarium is now officially open. And as you can see, your guests will come in to your aquarium now this is what you um you're prompted the minute that it's opened you've got your first fish in you're then prompted to start um your like ecology project now what this is the ecology is you see these little leaves you have to get a certain amount uh, for this animal it would be 50 um you have to get 50 of those to then for that to unlock and then you then have that animal in your aquarium um you get this by guests looking at the animals that you've got the more that those animals get looked at 
the points get tallied up and then from there you keep on unlocking and it really is a simple process of you know the happier your animals are the more chance you've got the people will look you'll tally those points up and you unlock as you go along so um for now i'm gonna unlock the azuri um demoiselle we're gonna get that project started so now as you can see it becomes down here ladies and gents um this is where obviously you can keep track of that stuff once this bar obviously gets full up then the animal becomes available this section here is another thing i'll bring to your attention now obviously you can see these stars these are prestige points now you need to get to 10 prestige points for us to then level up to level uh, two. Once we get to level two, it will unlock all of this. So all these fish will become available to do ecology projects on. Um, some of the, I think all these items will just be unlocked, but some of these need to be researched. Uh, that happens a bit later on down the line, um, but that's more stuff to think about. And from here as well, you can see the guest sports. So you can see what they like, what they don't like, what you might need to change, so on and so on. So yeah, obviously we need to get to 10 to get this unlocked. Um, and you get that by guests looking at your aquariums. Now you can increase the prestige of your aquarium by what you place in it. Now your fish will garner prestige. So as you can see, the orchard dotty back gets us two prestige um, when people look at it, but you can add stuff like plants and rocks to the aquariums and that will give you even more prestige. Um, certain fish, require rocks require caves require bog wood require plants um, the dotty backs don't but we're going to put some in there anyway because it will boost that prestige and then hopefully we'll be able to level up quicker and we'll have more stuff available to us um, to get cracking with in the aquarium so um, i'm just going to put a small rock uh, in this corner i, I think um, you can obviously rotate um, however you want it to look ladies and gents um i'm just gonna do it like this and yeah i think that looks i think that looks all right now um as you move along you're gonna uh, you're gonna realize that some fish require a lot more space um than others uh, they actually need some of these squares to be left open um because they're they are swimming in free water a bit more but obviously we will talk about all this stuff as uh, as we get there now we're kind of at a place now where we can't really go any further until this prestige uh, you know goes up until this fish is unlocked we can't really go any further so i am just gonna speed this along and uh, see if we can get this moving and get the prestige up see if we can uh, get to level two or see if we unlock the next fish if we unlock the next fish we could obviously place one or two of those in the tank that would boost the prestige and that would unlock but there you go we've unlocked and we are going to rank up to the next level ladies and gentlemen so as you can see the early stages is they're really really quick um, you just need to get the basics in place uh, and then from there you can really start to push on so we've unlocked a staff door um, so I'm going to show you how you can make these sort of like back stage areas I guess um, and so your guests can't get there they remain at the front of the aquariums and so on and so on we've got a combi mini so that's a heater and a pump together so that's really a space saving idea we've got some um, themes that have been unlocked we've got a wall, wall tanks have been unlocked these are a lot nicer looking because they finish off the edges of your aquarium uh, uh, you know a lot better um, we've got benches and uh, some bits and bobs that can go in and then we have four more fish at our um, disposal to do some research on so let's get going and let's move on ladies and gents now we are just going to take this off of um you know our speedy speedy along um so first and foremost i'm just going to pause this you're going to find that um i tend to pause it a lot because you can just manage things a little better when uh things are paused we're going to move these people from behind the aquarium because um they can become a bit of a problem um getting in the way now i think I might delete this aquarium now because we've got the wall aquariums and just because they look a little nicer. Um, so we are going to go to the wall aquarium. We are just going to rotate this. So it'll be the same size. Uh, we can still do it sort of like three squares. Um, so we are just going to build this here. Um, we are going to this might seem a little o a little overkill the way i'm doing it ladies and gents not not like the most efficient way but uh it's the it's the easiest way um that i can that i find uh to do it so we are just going to move this guy in here we're going to move this guy in here um 
yep, we're just going to move this guy. There is a quicker way of doing that, but I'm just kind of showing you um, all, all the ways you can sort of do it. Um, we are just going to replicate, basically, um, what we've got over there in this aquarium. So... Um, I've, yes, I did put that in the right place. And then we'll put this little guy here. Now, what we can do is we can sell this tank now. We'll sell that. And we can move this entire... Oh, it sold the heaters. That's a pain. I'm going to just have to buy them again. We can move that there. Um, and I think... We've got the cash. I think we'll just go with a combi. That'll sort things out. That'll keep things ticking over quite nicely. Um, and so, yeah, it's just a nicer looking aquarium. It finishes off the edge, as you can see. It kind of all matches up with the walls and whatnot. And uh, when you see the walls that we're about to put in to keep the staff um, separate as well, um, it just looks a little nicer. Um, so what we're going to do um, for now, because we don't need the most amount of space, is we're just going to take this wall and we're going to go all the way to the end there. We are going to move this. Uh, we're going to rotate this into here. Now, you do need to leave, you know, a square of space because your your staff will use this to feed the animals. Um, so you do always need to leave a square of space and make sure they can get in there. Now, obviously, when the tanks start to get a bit more complex and you've got protein skimmers and so on and so on, um, there are other um, pumps and power stations and things like that that you can use that you don't have to put right on top of the tank you can make these lovely areas and you can just link them up and the protein skimmer if it's next door to it will end up um, powering it so you don't actually need um, you know as much room as you might think basically I am just going to do something a little weird this isn't actually the most efficient way of doing this but um, it will it will do for now um, so we're actually going to need a tool station now this is how the tool station is how you repair things basically ladies and gents I should have explained that earlier you need one of those it supplies you with a toolbox um, you only get one toolbox for each workstation so if multiple things need fixing and you want things to be more efficient then obviously you need more tool stations um, we have staff doors now, so we'll place the staff door there. And so now what happens, ladies and gents, is your guests will obviously look at the tank from the front, but they can't get around the back of it. Um, and, uh, you know, it just looks a little bit more realistic and it just makes the staff's job a little easier and a little more efficient. So we can now press play, ladies and gents, and keep the game moving uh, while we move on and kind of like do the next stage. Now, obviously, we are waiting for this fish um, to unlock. A lot of that is because we don't have the most fish in here the more fish we had in here obviously the quicker we would get these points up um but um you know it's it's not a race is it at the end of the day we are kind of like going through things um so let me just um tackle a few of the other things that we've kind of unlocked so these wall tanks as i say they just finish it off um a, a bit nicer these are more sort of like the sort of tanks that you would put in the middle of aquarium and you would use those pumps that i'm talking about where they wouldn't be next to it so guests wouldn't see you know the pumps and so on and so on um so yeah these are just a different style of tank i, I really like these ones uh, the deep ones that you'll see later on maybe in another episode are really really cool um and really realistic um yeah your fish you've got um a few more sort of like decorations now this is what we're talking about sort of like caves and things like that um these become really important uh and then you've got themes basically so you get these um you know new sort of like themes that you can use and you get barrels and these can go in the aquariums but you can also have these scattered around as well um adding sort of like prestige to your um to your aquarium but um yeah we're not gonna worry about that for now and then obviously we've got uh benches for guests to sit because guests do get tired as they walk around and uh, need to take a load off we're actually going to put one in there for now um, just in case just to keep the guests in the aquarium uh, and not wandering off um, I don't really want to add any more fish in here I want to leave some space um, how much room do these guys take up so these take up two so we've got an odd number which is a pain so we're not actually going to be able to fill the entire uh, tank up but yeah if we put two in there um, that would be quite a nice number so what I'm going to do is just to try and speed this along a little bit I'm going to put one more of these guys in there um, we'll get 12 um, we'll get 12 of these ecology points now as you can see 
every time guests look that's how you get your reputation that's how you get your ecology and that's how you kind of build up to the next step um, when we level up next time we open up a lot more stuff some really cool fish um, and this is what I was talking about the basic pumps uh, these are the ones that you can place you know in different places link stuff up uh, and so on and so on so um, yeah that's just how they work um, so what we're going to do as we're waiting for this new fish to unlock is we're just going to speed this along see if we can get there quicker um, see if we can add another species into the aquarium so um, do let me know what you make of the game ladies and gents let me know what you think um, let me know what you'd like to see from the series um, and also if you would like me to do you know like the campaign feel free to let me know I'd happily you know do it I just thought we could do a sandbox mode um, to begin with try and make a really cool looking aquarium and I could talk you through the game and sort of show you how it works I'm still learning myself um, I've only had the game like a few days and I've only had like a, a little bit of a play on it because i've been pretty busy but uh yeah i just thought it'd be a quite a cool little game to bring to the channel something a bit new um a bit exciting and just change things up a little bit we are obviously trying to make this channel a bit more of a variety gaming channel so um yeah i just thought a, a, a little something else might um might help basically now we are almost there you're going to see the prestige has dropped down a bit and that's because obviously it's the same thing that's being seen over and over again in the zoo and this will happen the newer things become the more stuff you add to the aquariums the more uh, items that have got higher prestige the quicker that will go up and the more consistently you will keep your prestige at a higher level basically ladies and gents so um this might not be the most efficient way of doing it maybe like we're into day six already um I sped through to try and unlock this animal, um, but uh, I, I think it's worth it. So we've got to pick out next research. The minute one's finished, it will prompt you to do the next one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the last of the rank one animals. Now each animal is obviously um, going to be linked to the rank that you unlocked. Um, and obviously the higher the rank, the higher the prestige. As you can see, these have got three prestige. This has only got two so um obviously the higher the rank obviously the more attractive that fish is going to be to the aquarium but the half and half chromis we're going to get that research going we're going to bring the speed down and we are going to add some more fish now obviously this fish here it hasn't got any problems this can happily go in with this one um, they can coexist as uh, it will tell you and prompt you um, you know if they can't coexist um, and obviously when you get to predatory fish it will tell you what size fish they will eat and the size obviously will deter will basically be worked out by looking at the size of this animal so we're gonna get i'm um, gonna put two of these guys in here that will take us up to 10 we have a space of uh, five left so um if there's you know any fish that will sort of can go in there as a single and um you know i've got a, a an odd number that will help us massively uh, so we can stock the tank properly now you can zoom in ladies and gents and have a proper look at the aquarium you have to use your your, your keyboard to to walk around but uh yeah from guest level this is how the uh, aquarium looks at the moment um so yeah i think we can all agree it looks pretty cool obviously you can see the staff and stuff out the back um believe you can put a wall up across there it stops that from happening but uh, you still need to leave that gap for the staff to be able to feed the animals so um yeah it's one of the reasons why i just uh, leave it but um yeah let's zoom back out um this is see these little um icons as well that you get above the tanks now if you click on them you can change their priority so as you can see it's normal priority now we're not very busy at the moment um so the staff can kind of go about their day and they can manage everything very very easily uh, at this moment in time but um when it does get busy or there aren't staff that are close and you feel the need that you might need to set the priority you can just click when that um, item is there and it turns it red and it basically just changes the priority of that um, of that item and then uh, you get stuff done quicker basically you can set work zones as well like if you click on your member of staff you can see there's loads of uh, stuff here so obviously this is no zone assigned at the moment I'm not bothered doing that because uh, we were a relatively small aquarium we don't need to worry about that um, talents this is like their fitness um, their empathy this this all basically this all helps with cleaning so fitness determines natural talent for cleaning in the gift shop um, precision that's for your fixing uh, empathy is feeding uh, and 
memory is uh, a talent for fixing and talking and then charisma that's for talking so they've all got their own sort of like little list of talents and i believe as they um as they um upgrade they get better as well and then in the advanced you can actually um sort of like allow accessories so um you know there's backpacks and stuff you can give them that they can store with food and they can carry food around them rather than having to keep returning to the buckets but as I say, I'm talking about stuff that we unlock down the line um, that I will talk you through as and when we get there. Now, we're doing really well for money. Obviously, the research is coming along. Um, we are trucking along to try and get to level two. Um, I think I'm just going to fast forward. I'm going to unlock this little beauty. I think we'll put that into the aquarium and then we'll call it um, a day on today's episode. But uh, yeah, you just need to let me know what you make of it. And if you do enjoy it, um, I'll be sure to do some more on the channel. Um, as I've already said, let me know what you're making of the game. Let me know if it's something you want to see more of. And uh, let me know if you want me to do the campaign as well as the sandbox mode. Sandbox is just easier because um, there's no time constraints. You can just kind of like chug along how you want. It's easier to talk to you guys. It's easier to explain things um, and sort of easier to get stuff done, you know. Um, with the campaign, you're having to do tasks and you're... you're constantly on the go trying to like make sure that you do each each bit and uh, reach certain levels so just i personally find sandboxes a little easier now we're not far away from this guy being unlocked i think what i'm going to do is i might put his tank over their tank over here um and i might change this up a little bit i might move this all around and that's it that research is done and dusted so we now need to pick another now we're obviously into the ranked two uh, fish now now as you can see these fish are larger so the yellow tang takes up six of those spots in a tank so they need quite a large aquarium um, these guys have uh, special needs um, like they don't uh, require light they need a cave but i think we'll obviously worry about all this in next episode and i'll talk you through it as and uh, as and when we get to it but i think um they all need a hundred ecology points it doesn't really matter what sort of um what sort of order that we unlock them i think i'm going to do the king uh demoiselle because he only requires two space and he might be able to go in with some of the animals that uh, we're going to have now we're going to pause this because we're going to build a new aquarium uh for our new guests because i'm going to explain um the differences between this and the fish that we've already put in so uh we're just going to move all of these guys out of the way um so that we can get this uh, built um let's just move this here a moment now let's have a little think about how we want this to look now i still want this to be aesthetically pleasing ladies and gents i still want it to look good uh, at the end of the day um so i think what we're gonna do is i might go with a nice corner tank actually um i think that might look quite nice in there uh da -da 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 -da. do we go back a little bit so we can make this slightly bigger and we still need to be able to leave space for the for the um for the staff to be able to get to the aquarium basically um so i am going to slightly offset this to the one that we've already got because i want to make the aquarium a little larger um i'm just going to make it longer like that we need to move this because i've gone forward a little bit too far i think we'll go We'll go there and we will just change this up a little bit, I think. Um, so we're going to delete these two bits out. Um, we will move, we'll move this bench for a start. We'll move this over here. We don't really need that bench yet anyway because the aquarium just isn't really large enough for us to have to worry about that. We'll put this uh, wall in here and we'll move the door. So the door is this side. So now, as you can see, we've got a lot more space for our staff at the back now. Um, so we are just going to rotate this around. We'll put that there. So our workstation's right near the door um and we just need to do all of the bits that we did last time now 
we might have a little bit of a problem. We might have to extend this out ever so slightly to be able to get enough um, pumps and stuff in. But we're just going to go with a combi to start with. Now, as you can see, this um, tank, it requires 15 heat. This this will give you 18, so that will be on the button. That will work for us. We've got a space here for our staff to be able to feed the animals as well. So that's going to work. Hunky Dory, that's going to be beautiful. Um, so we go to the fish and we're going to talk through why these are different to the ones that we've already got now as you can see prestige you've got your ecology they're going to get you a lot of ecology points these guys which is great because it'll help you research uh, your fish quicker um the water quality is the, essentially the same as what we've already got same as the heat they the orange pellets which is great we've already got that in but the one thing that's different is their size they're you know one one fish takes up three spots and as you can see here they're a shoulder so it means they need at least four uh four of them to be happy in the tank if you don't do that then you'll have problems with the animal so um what you need to do is obviously three um we've got 15 spots you do three times four ladies and gents it's 12 you've got enough spots you've got enough room uh for these guys in this aquarium so uh yeah we can basically plop them in but you always have to think about that when you're making your tanks you always have to think have i got enough space uh for these fish really what i should have done in hindsight is i probably should have pulled this wall forward one more and we could have gone this way and then this tank would have been bigger um i will just bring to your attention because uh, I, I didn't go through this so this here is the capacity of the tank like how big you can make it and this is the depth so um some fish will require deeper water and so on and so on um but yeah this is so the minimum that it can be which would be say this one for instance that's the minimum it can be it's just one square the maximum it can be is you go side and back and so that would be the biggest it can be now um obviously the smallest it would uh, house 10 at the biggest it can house 30 uh, and each tank has its own number so just so you know that's kind of how you work it out um, but let's get these bad boys in here and then uh, once we've done this we can call today's episode a day so there we go there's our four new members um, i am just going to add a little a little bit of stuff just to make it look nice uh, we'll go with this because it's a little different um, and yeah we'll get playing and that'll be that ladies and gents so as you can see staff are going to go they're going to feed and crack on so yeah these are our new these are our new uh fish in here they're um as a, as we all already just covered they are a shoaling animal and uh yeah they look pretty cool don't they there's probably a space for one more fish to go in there it'll probably be something slightly bigger um but yeah as you can see it's taken up 12 spots so if we had another fish that was happy to live on its own and took up three spots um that would be fine in there and the same can be said uh, for this one we probably get another couple of fish in there as well but i think i am gonna call that for the first episode ladies uh, and gentlemen do let me know what you made of it uh I'd really, really appreciate in the comment section if you want to see more of this. Um, I'd be absolutely more than happy to do so. Really enjoying this game. I think it's fantastic. Um, and if you want to buy it, obviously you can find it on the Steam Workshop at the moment. I think like the main game plus the DLC is about £16, um, which I think is pretty good value for a game uh, these days. But my friends, I'm done and dusted. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed, drop me a like. Uh, bell notification button to never miss an episode. And if you check out the description section, you'll find all my social and my discord uh, i implore you to go and follow them it's the best way to stay up to date you can get involved in all the chat the banter and all that good stuff but my friends you make sure you stay an extra and i'll see you real soon